Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I was sat there, right? It was bank holiday weekend, bank holiday. Now, if you know anything about me, you'll know that I hate bank holidays, right? I think they are the devil and they should not exist. Sorry if you look forward to your bank holidays every single year, day, week, month. Whenever they happen, they happen too often, right? Uh, it's just another day for people who don't want to work just to not work, right? And it affects me greatly. So don't even come at me with like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I was. Bank holiday Monday. I was sat there. I was twiddling my thumbs, bored out of my mind. And lo and behold, Chris Ingham posted this on his Instagram. And let me know, God help me, that there was going to be a video on YouTube at 6 p.m. And I got oh so excited. I thought, my God, this must be like a bank holiday treat for me, you know answering all my prayers so i waited there with bated breath until it happened refreshing the page second after second it was so exciting and at 6 p.m ticked over right <laughs> and this come up sarah cut all her hair off and uh, Esme, with a, a, you know, the classic open mouth reaction, you, you know, their channel would not be built without it, right? And um, obviously, you need the arrow pointing to Esme's face to know that we're talking about Esme, even though she's the only person in the shot, you know? Anyway, 1 minute 43. Come on, Chris, you're going to do better than that. Jeez. Anyway, let's have a little look through to see what it was that was so exciting because Sarah cut all her hair off and we're going to see. It's so great, isn't it? I can't wait for this. Guys, I'm finally at the hairdressers. <laughs> this appointment is so long overdue. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I was thinking all last night, what shall I get done? Shall I go drastic? At the minute, my hair, my hair's down to my bum. Like it is, it's down to my bum. Like it's so long. But. It's probably the longest actually that it's ever been. However, it's probably the most unhealthy it's all, all ever been as well. Unhealthy it's ever been. I've just not had it cut for so long and I haven't taken care of it properly, probably. I've got the postpartum hair loss hormones all over the place and I just feel like I need a good freshen up. I need to get some of the weight taken off. So I'm definitely you need some of the weight taken off my god you should listen to that without watching or have any context about what she's talking about because that's what i was doing at the time i was busy <laughs> with something else and i was listening to it in my ear and um sarah just saying that she needs to take the weight they're not miracle workers sarah they can't <laughs> take your weight off too fucking hell seriously <laughs> going for a haircut and you expect the <laughs> expect the world okay you know definitely gonna have a good amount taken off and i'm probably gonna get like a conditioning treatment or something put on it as well because it's just so i mean look this these are my best friend you guys know if you watch our videos all i ever do is this i'm just doing it yeah. ready yeah here you go not being dramatic but <sighs> That's really short, I've never seen you short hair. Sarah's drastic new hair reveal tomorrow at five. Oh, 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 well, I have to say, Chris, I'm very disappointed because you built that up, right? You put on your Instagram, you said YouTube video at six. So we got all excited. Then it popped up and it said yeah, Sarah cuts all her hair off and there was no cutting of the hair off. There was, there was nothing, we didn't even see her hair. So what's the point in it? It's only one minute 43. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it did provoke a little bit of Ira in the comments. I'm not quite sure who Ira is, but anyway. Yes, the I found were none too happy. That's the whole video. You get paid for this. I'm upset, I clicked on it. And then um, an iFam replied, stop being so rude. Stop being so rude with, um, a, you know, those emojis. What are they called? The emojis. 
the, the for fuck's sake, the emojis. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with my head? Don't you know? Eye rolling emojis. Seriously. Get your head in the game. Seriously. Eye rolling emojis, right? Those I found, they are a credit to you, sir. <laughs> Chris, they are lovely, aren't they? And another one replied, I don't think they get paid unless the video is over 10 minutes long. Well, they do in actual fact. I'm sorry to burst your iPhone-like bubble. Anyway, it went on and someone said, all right, Karen. <laughs> oh, it was silly banter. Going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Karen is upset, aka Pam's Cake Crafts. It's Monday, they don't post on Mondays. Well, they clearly do, don't they? You're not paying attention. They posted it was 1 minute and 43 seconds, all right? And somebody else said, it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> of course it's April Fool's Day. That's right. That's why it's uploaded. It's, it's a joke, clearly. Clearly a joke. And another person said, why so short? And, you know, perfectly well said. <laughs> That this one actually cracked me up. <laughs> cracked me up more than it should have done, really. <laughs> this I found replied, because it's April Fool's Day, of course. My God, why didn't everybody think of that? No, but this is what Chris <laughs> replied. Not April Fool's, it's just a teaser for tomorrow's video. So, <laughs> Chris, how do you feel that even your iFam thought it was so shit that they thought they were being pranked? <laughs> Really, really did tickle me. <laughs> Tickled me a lot, honestly. <laughs> Even they think it's so shit, it was must have been a prank. <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyway, right, anyway. Back in the game, back in the game. <laughs> somebody report well, somebody Donna, right? Mama Donna. <laughs> oh, she's a card, isn't she? She said, ah, so excited. I think Sarah would suit balayage. Heck, <laughs> you know, f fucking clear what that says. I'm sorry. Right? I don't know. Balayage. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. So, <laughs> oh, thanks. Can't wait to see Sarah's hair tomorrow. I think it will look really nice. Didn't you watch the video and the title? It clearly stated that Sarah had all her hair cut off. She's gone bold. Right? Unless you think bold is beautiful. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Not my cup of tea, right? Honestly, not my cup of tea. I don't think that bold is beautiful. But, you know, that is quite offensive to the baldies of the world, right? It is, honestly. So, um, some, some baldies are... Beautiful, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> we need to see the next day because, like, this was it was a classic teaser episode, you know, like a duff duff moment, right? To see how Sarah's hair turned out. <laughs> you need two days worth of clickbait for Sarah cutting her hair. <laughs> Just Jesus. You couldn't make it up, except if you're on the Ingham family. TV show, then it's all made up, right? So the next day rolled around and they were actually late. <laughs> they were actually late for that huge clickbait moment. They were late, right? But eventually when it turned up, it was a... <laughs> I don't know. Teen's reaction to mum chopping all her hair off. So they reaffirmed that mum was really chopping all her hair off completely bold people you've got to see the result of this one thing i have an issue with here is that on the thumbnail you've got esme she's looking shocked and everything but isabel is looking at esme so what is it isabel is reacting to esme's reaction is that what's happening here i don't know Anyway, so then they went on and we had the, um, the opening spiel from Sarah. We've already seen this, so we don't need to see it again. And then they went to the... Um, what did they do? <laughs> oh, no, something funny happened. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I'm actually in tears, honestly. It was made my day. This is going straight on to the old ticky-tock. <laughs> Sorry. 
Okay, they're okay, right. Okay. Yeah? Did you just get out of the car? Yeah. So that you could vlog getting into the car? Why are you giving away my secrets? <laughs> it's supposed to be a YouTuber behind the scenes secrets, that. <laughs> you just literally was sat in the car, got out, and I thought, what's he doing? <laughs> just to vlog getting back in the car? No, I didn't. <laughs> If it wasn't vlogged, it didn't happen. No, it did. It, did, it was vlogged. So you can't prove it. <laughs> anyway, we're convoying. We were, we were, I was worried we were going to run late for Sarah's appointment after we picked up the car. So we, we convoyed it to the appointment. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have been late. But. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what's going on here at all, whatsoever. Why have you got both? Why have you got the car and the van? You said you had to pick up the car. From where? The, the car? Oh, I know. I Sorry. My mistake, I've been missing quite a few episodes, right, of this shit show. And um, am I to understand that they took the car into the MOT, is that right? They ha they took one of the vehicles to the MOT the other day, is it? The yeah, it's probably what it is. Yeah, so um, strike what I said. That is why, yeah. I'm, I'm a bit behind. Sorry, Chris, I'm not, I'm not really watching <laughs> your vlogs anymore. You know, sad times. <laughs> You know, whatever. So we just linked up in the car park to exchange kids. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They linked up in the car park to exchange kids. Chris! Which kids? Which kids did you exchange? I'm sorry. Child. Trafficking is not a joke. <laughs> I know it's not a joke. <laughs> it does sound funnier coming from Chris, though. So sorry. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody talking about that. That's mental. What? To give you Aurora. I'm feeding Aurora. <laughs> right, so Aurora's obviously we'll come to put Aurora in the car. We've just picked up that chocolate's killing my car deal. So we've just picked up Jace's chopper bike. Finally, we managed to get exchanged the other day. So if you don't know, his main present at Christmas, it freaking came without handlebars. His bike had no handlebars in the box. So finally, we've got it refunded and exchanged. And we've just picked up the new one, so. We didn't get refunded, did we, love? Did you just throw that word in there for fun? Actually, they did, because they had, she just had to do it then. You have to process the refund and then pay for it again. So you had to pay for it again? No, but they like it electronically refunded it and then paid it again with the credit that was in the system. Oh, you right, me? So it can't, so it did get refunded, so oh. shh. Okay. Don't shush me. Shh. Don't shush me. Right, we're going up for Jesus' birthday today. But yeah, it's going to be real good. Alex, Sarah will show you her hair and it's well different. I mean, you look so fit. You I, look I, kind of, I don't know if I'm regretting it now. <laughs> I kind of regret it. You're cold? No, my bingo wings are. <laughs> She looks awesome. She'll share when we get home. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head home now. Why does it make you feel insecure when you get your hair cut off? Like exactly. I feel insecure about the rest of my body now. Yeah, someone someone shared. What was it on, every, on this Facebook group? For everything in Ingham's. They shared like some photos of me from that. Me and Greta Mary Shaw. Alrighty then. I don't know. It wasn't my fault that all my hair got chopped off because no, it was to the be Turkish fair, barber you that you ruined it all off. I'm thinking here, Chris. I am thinking, right, that you didn't see this on the Facebook group, Everything Ingham's, because, um, yeah, no. <laughs> it just so happens that the very picture you are referring to appeared onto Tattle, like, two days ago, right? Or whenever it was. It was a few days ago, right? So, um... I'm thinking that more than likely that you have been reading that you saw somebody post it and that's what you're referring to. The problem here I have is the fact that you're lying. Someone lying to your iPhone. Just say what it is. Just say where you see it. I mean, do you hear me say, well, I, 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 saw, I saw this on, on something else, right? I saw this in another group and I saw it. No, I just said, plain out, I said, I saw it on tat, all right? That means people know that I was reading title. I know it's hard to believe. It's it's stunning. It's stunning, isn't it? But just say it as it is, Chris. Just say I was reading title and I saw them post this and I thought it was a bit funny, right? <laughs> because it was funny. So just say it as it is. Don't don't lie. Your iPhone would appreciate it. In fact, it might bring them back. And God knows you need your iPhone to come back. No, you deserve to get the mic taken out of you for that haircut. Yeah, I do. <laughs> was, it was just Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. Some fool got a ball and cut around my head. That's basically what it was. I'd look at the biggest wallet. 
Wasn't that the time that you claimed it was some trainee was having a practice go on your hair or some some nonsense like that, wasn't it? Yeah, no. I mean, it's quite offensive. You know, when you say the, the word fool, right? You say to us, oh, fool, it's not an offensive word. It's an endear- endearing word, right? It's not. For most people, if you call them a fool, it literally means idiot, right? So you're calling them an idiot. And you don't even know them, and that's very nasty to to be calling somebody that you don't know. Oh my, why do I call you that all the time? So, so I'm a really hypocrite. Oh, I'll take that. I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. <laughs> I didn't feel it at the time. No, I did feel it at the time, but I was kind of like, obviously delusional. But now looking back at the pictures, I'm like, what on earth was I thinking? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, she's anyway, finished. So we, we should um, get back. I'm off to do some bad life, Sarah's off to do some car life and we're going to um, link back up at home and then go out and have some fun for Jason's birthday. Yay! Mum, why's the hair spiking out of your I... <laughs> right, so unless I'm very much mistaken, didn't you say, Christopher, on your title, teens react to the haircut, right? Teens react. Now... Isla, she's only 11 years of age. That's not a teen, is it? Now, now I've learned this recently from your um, kid, right? Esme, who <laughs> who was spotted, um, not by me, obviously, by Tattle. See how it works, Chris? See how it works, right? Yeah, Tattle, they saw it first, right? So, um, yeah, it was spotted on Tattle, and she was having a go at the Fizz fam. So this was all posted on Mia Fears' TikTok, right? And it was involving her younger sister, Sienna, who is not 13, right? And um, Atlanta, who is Esme's longtime best friend, said, uh, tagged Esme, in fact, in it and said, Isn't teenager 13? <laughs> so funny, it's so funny. Um, and, uh, well from here we can see that Esme's name is there but her comment's not there so it seems like she must have deleted something so I had to go and look for it right so in fact she did reply as you can see here Esme said yeah it is (laughs) but she had good good sense to delete it probably from advice from the the management of the Ingham family (laughs) right am I right anyway the conversation went on and on and on and on as an argument brewed between um, this child and, and other adults so you know whoever child child this is possibly stop them from getting into arguments with kids now obviously adults arguing with kids is a, another issue right i'm not saying it's not but yeah so the um the whole point here is that the inghams do do it and um apparently the the Inghams also have a problem with it being done, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, right? Ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not being dramatic, but... <sighs> so nice! Well, yeah, that was some reaction, wasn't it? Wasn't it some reaction, guys? Now, I'm not going to like... Right, I'm going to tell you a little story now, <laughs> This reaction reminded me of something from my childhood that actually did happen, right? When I was younger, my dad, he used to have this really big beard, right? Beards, you know, think of like, um, like, um, what are those, those ones? The rabbi things, yeah? A big beard, yeah? He used to have a big beard, right? And he always had this beard. And then one day, he shaved it all off, right? Or he had it cut off or whatever. He had it off, right? He, he, he got rid of it, right? And um, my brother, who was like four at the time, <laughs> my brother, he was four years old, and he came in and he burst out crying, right? That reaction of Sarah having a, a trim <laughs> had the same reaction. Hilarious, honestly. <laughs> Chris, Sarah, oh my God, what are you doing to them? I'm not going to lie, this reaction seems ever so something like, like over the top. It's a haircut, right? They have seen haircut before. Um, you've had a haircut before. 
other people have had haircuts before. I mean, I personally don't react this way when anybody has a haircut, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a little story for you. My wife came in the other day with a haircut and I didn't even notice, right? Because it's just fucking hair. It does not matter that much. It's not, it's not that deep, right? It's not. I can't believe that! Oh Mommy looks so different! <laughs> Really different. Yeah, it is. <gasps> I can't believe it. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's nice. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> what have you got loads off? <gasps> oh, it's just like Isla. <laughs> it's really weird. Hang on. What was that secondary reaction all about? Didn't? Wasn't she there at the time they did the reaction, or did I miss something? No. Confused, they're, they're doing reactions upon reactions upon other reactions. It's just too much for me. Isla, oh my god, that's Isla. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Isla? <laughs> that is so weird. You look so nice. It looks nice, but that's really short. I've never seen you short hair. Well, you look like me. I don't think I've ever had hair this short. No, you haven't. Well, I have, but not in about 10 years. Not since you had like your blonde hair. Not yeah. since I had, no, no, I didn't even have it this short in blonde hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you did have that it quite thin short Yeah, that was like when you were. Your little email. Aurora's right? age. <laughs> it looks good. It's just, it's different. It's weird. Yeah. Do you like it though? Yeah, I like it. It's just when you first get your hair cut, you feel a bit insecure, don't you? You're just like. Yeah, but it's really nice. No, it's really though. nice. It's really nice. It's really cute. Yeah. Right. I've not even shown yeah. everybody yet. So I'll show them all now. Okay. This is probably the shortest I've had my hair in so long. Since I was a baby baby. Are you ready for this, guys? I can't, I don't know if I regret it or not. Let's pull it in, come on. Alright. Wow, is that it? Sorry, Sarah, but um, hardly worth the days of clickbait anticipation, really, was it? It wasn't really that. No, it wasn't. I mean, a little info for you here, right? So, on the day it actually happened, I didn't watch the vlog at the time, right? <laughs> I couldn't be bothered with that shit, right? But somebody did show me a photo of Sarah, and um, they said... <laughs> I can't remember what they said now. <laughs> I looked at it, and I said, why what she done? And literally, that is it. I didn't... I Honestly, I had no idea that this person was showing me to... To look at Sarah's hair, right? And I looked at Sarah and said, "Why? What's she done?" And that was my honest reaction to Sarah having a haircut. I didn't notice. That is my point, Sarah. It's not a huge, um, noticeable, vlog-worthy, even a storytelling moment, right? It's not a storytelling moment in somebody's life, you know. Recently, I've been telling quite a lot of stories, both over here and over on TikTok. If you haven't seen my story times, well, you're missing out, you're missing out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wouldn't tell a story about me having a head. Oh, fucking hell, I might actually. <laughs> I have got a classic one for you, but... Um, I think that's the one for another day. But it's not just, oh yeah, I popped to the hairdressers the other day on the... He gave me a haircut. <laughs> oh, the card! He gave me a haircut, didn't he? No, I've got an actual classic one for you. So, <laughs> I'll tell you that another day. Because this video won't last forever otherwise. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my point here is that, Sarah, your stories don't, are not really worthy of um, telling. Um, no, I didn't notice that you had your haircut. It just, it looks, it's short, right? It, it's short. Brilliant. Thank you for showing us your hairdo. Looks fantastic, really. Looks sexy. Beautiful. Chris is on to a winner tonight. You look 20 years younger. <laughs> no. And it's not a wig like last time. Well, obviously, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, it looks like that wig. <laughs> what, darling? I'll show them you two brains like this. Just make sure it's not a wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so short compared to how, like, compared to how long it was before. I don't know what I don't like. What I don't like at the minute is this bit. I, I like like 
oomph at the top. Yeah. Oomph. I don't like flat like this. Yeah, but that's because you've had it washed and blow dried and cut. Yeah, she's put like a serum on it, which is fine. I asked her to put it on. Yeah. But it just feels a bit flat at the top. Yeah, I, I like, like it. I hate my hair when it's flat. Like, after a shower, I hate my hair because, because it's always so flat. Yeah, but. Okay. You can put some volumizer in it. Yeah, maybe yeah, I might put the dry. Shampoo. Shampoo. Yeah, might put yeah. dry. You know, they dragged this out for all of Bank Holiday Monday and then half of this vlog. It was insane. I mean, I, I can't. I can't carry, I can't show you the rest of it. Anyway, because they've dragged it out for such a long time, and they're still going on about it as we speak, right? It's still going on. It's unbelievable. I can't show you the rest of the vlog. They went into town or wherever it was they went, and they went go-karting, right? Um, in fact, I haven't seen it. I haven't actually watched it. I forgot I haven't seen it. But yeah, that's what they did, right? So if they did anything special whilst they were there, please let me know. I know they were going to go to see um, TGI <laughs> to see TGI Fridays. <laughs> they were going to eat at TGI Fridays because they haven't done that for a while. Um, probably Jace, Mila, and Aurora have never ever been there because <laughs> you know you haven't been since you've been broke. Um, because remember the days where you used to eat out every single day? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen anymore, and that's very telling, right? It was great content, and a very relatable content, but it doesn't happen anymore. Anyway, so, I've got some other things to talk to you about, because there's one or two things that have been going on, um, with, uh, Sarah and Chris in the, um, you know, on the Instagram and stuff like that, that need to be discussed, and some one very very important thing so if you do click off now you're gonna miss it please don't i have something really that has riled me up to the nth degree and i would like to discuss it with you oh it's easter and it would not be easter without one of sarah's famous easter rants now if you remember rightly um sarah did an easter egg rant uh she obviously left that for Ayla's birthday because when else would you have a, a rant you know, if it isn't for your child's birthday anyway yeah she did an easter egg rant that year um, but she's done another little rant here on Instagram and she's replying to somebody um, who I'm not sure I don't see the original comment but I assume it's something to do with the easter baskets that she this person didn't understand anyway Sarah is here to to explain it all to us she says don't worry about not understanding I can explain it to you I'm sure you're, you're a great teacher you are Sarah just ask your kids anyway so people celebrate Easter with religion only well, some people <laughs> some people some people celebrate Easter with religion only no Sarah I'm going to give you a little tip. A little tip, right? I know some people celebrate it in different ways and some people don't do it in a religious way. However, we all do it in a religious way, if you see what I mean. Because Easter is not, not predominantly, it's exclusively a Christian festival. It is, actually. Okay? I'm, I, I don't celebrate it in that way. I admit, I don't, right? And many people don't. But... It's not an Easter egg festival, for example, right? It's, it is actually a religious festival, even if you don't want to admit it. She goes on to say, it's similar to Christmas time. Other families celebrate with a token gift from where the tradition came from. Eggs, meaning the beginning of new life. I'm, um, okay, so I'm not sure if that's true. So one second. So I got this off Google, and uh, so don't come at me, right? Google won't lie to me, right? Okay, so eggs represent new life and rebirth, and it's thought that this ancient custom became a part of Easter celebrations. In the medieval period, eating eggs was forbidden during Lent, the 40 days before Easter, <laughs> in case you didn't realise, Sarah. So on Easter Sunday, tucking into an egg was a real treat. So that is where eggs come from. I'm not quite sure where the, the chocolate part comes from. Anyway, right, that is um, the, the explanation. Sarah was quite... quite, quite 
kind of right, okay? Kind of. So she goes on to say, some people still give a single chicken egg to keep in with tradition. Some families opt for buying their children chocolate eggs or other novelty chocolate. Others think a pile of chocolate eggs and a book is perfect for their family, whilst others opt for buying their children an Easter basket to collect plastic eggs from the garden. And some, buy, and some buy the basket to fill with gifts. You see, as with any holiday that is celebrated all around the world, every family does it their own way to suit their views, opinions, budget, etc. I'm sorry, to suit their views. <laughs> I, I don't think views come into it when it comes to e Easter egg, chocolate eggs. Um, nobody says, well, my views are that um, chocolate eggs are what Easter is all about. So I'm going to use that as an excuse to buy copious amounts of chocolate on that day. Now, I'm not sticking up for or... or or dissing anybody that wants to buy chocolate eggs, right? <laughs> I'm not. But Sarah's explanation is a little bit off. It's nothing to do with views, right? Views would be your, like your religious views, etc. There's nothing there that says, um, you know, your views on buying chocolate or baskets or Easter baskets or gifts or anything else, right? She goes on to say, they live by their own means and values and no way is it more right than the other? I guarantee no two families celebrated Easter Sunday the exact same way as another family. And that's okay. We aren't all robots. Uh, well, speak for you, Sarah. I have robotic parts. <laughs> Sorry, I do. <laughs> anyway, we do things how we want to do them for our families. Everyone is different. This here is how we choose to celebrate Easter this year. What's right for our family might not be right for yours, and that's okay. Well, see, the problem here, Sarah, is that, yes, you're quite right. People are entitled to celebrate different holidays in whatever way their family want to celebrate it, right? But I think where people have an actual problem is the fact that you have copious amounts of gifts for every single holiday that is going, right? There's no there's no period of time where your kids are not getting copious amounts of gifts because you have Christmas. Well, you have Easter, <laughs> sorry, Christmas Eve first, don't you? Have, you have Christmas Eve boxes and then you have Christmas Day and then you... Um, you, you have some elaborate thing for New Year's, I'm sure. And then there's a bit of a gap. And then you've got your, your Valentine's Day. And then um, there's a little bit of a gap. And then there's Easter. And then there's a little bit of a gap. And um, then there's... Well, you've got the birthdays, obviously, in between. So you've got all these things. And people aren't... Well, people are going to have an opinion about it, right? So she goes on to say, social media is amazing for so many reasons, but absolutely horrendous at bringing out bitter people who judge others just for doing something different to them. My children aren't spoiled brats because we bought them a few gifts for Easter this year. Ruined for life because as well as an Easter egg, they got a new, a few learning games, books, clothes and makeup. How many Easter eggs did they get? I bet you they didn't just get one Easter egg, right? <laughs> I bet you they didn't. Anyway, it's absolutely okay to have an opinion on the way someone else lives. And that's what people are doing, by the way, an opinion. But not all opinions need voicing. Just because you're be sat behind a computer, this isn't just aimed at you. It's all the other ignorant people. Oh, so you are calling this person ignorant, though. It's... You're ignorant and all the other ignorant people too. Do what makes you happy and F everyone else. Well, that's, a, that's lovely, isn't that lovely language? I'm sorry. I'm going to call you Chris then because it sounded very much like Chris. Now, Sarah, Sarah, F everyone. I, that's not very ladylike, is it? Fucking hell. Seriously. I'm sorry. Um, yes, ladies have every right to F everybody if they want to F everybody. <laughs> sorry again. 
<laughs> anyway, she goes on to say that she's pinning the comments, so um, everybody gets to see it, and isn't that lovely? But she did have a little snark back at a few others in the comments section. So this person said, Sarah, the fact that you are all arguing with a minor is embarrassing. You should all be ashamed to be so. Yeah, there you go. Um, and somebody else says, Sarah, but we are not going to be in the same mindset. So shall we just leave it there because we are not going to agree. So Sarah, she, she can't just leave it there, can she? She has to snark back. And she said... I love that. Maybe this minor, in uh, inverted commas, needs to get herself off social media until she's old enough and mature enough to have an account. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Your kids are splashed all over social media and maybe they need to take themselves off social media until they are mature enough to have an account. If you see what I mean, same goes for your children. But you won't do that because they make you a shit ton of money. And if you didn't have that, you'd have to move out of that lovely house. I say lovely in inverted commas too. <laughs> it's not lovely, that's why. <laughs> but then this person, very deluded that they are, said her children are clearly mature enough not to comment unnecessary comments on other people's profiles that they don't know. Well, we've already proven that, that that's not true with the Mia Fizz uh, comment section that they got embroiled in. Now this person said, can Jace read yet? I haven't seen much homeschooling videos. He should be learning to read by now, doing phonics, sounding out, etc. So I think it's universally accepted that Jace possibly should be doing these things. But Sarah has a different view. So what is that different view, Sarah? <laughs> she says, yes, he can, but just a couple of things to remember. Firstly, we rarely show any of the children's home learning time. No, you don't. And I respect your decision wholeheartedly, except, Sarah, you do in fact show Jace's homeschool learning time, and you've never shown him reading. Now, I'm not saying that he has to be read reading on screen or anything like that. I'm not suggesting that whatsoever. But it's the things that you show, show what your kids are capable of and sometimes it's very obvious <laughs> Sorry. she goes on to say that's private to them and not for the world to see and no doubt rip apart see this is where it gets confusing now i'm not pointing any of this out because i agree or disagree with what jace is learning i'm not right i'm not having a go at jace's you know development whatsoever what I am saying here is, Sarah, what you say and what you do are completely contradictory, right? You say that's private to them and not for the world to see. But at the same time, you have you have made bank on your kids' privacy, right? Exposing every last detail of their lives. You have actually used... Far worse things, right? I've got to say, far, far worse things you've exposed about your kids' lives than just their schooling, right? A lot worse. So I put it to you that the main reason why you don't want to show your kids learning and things like that isn't because it's private to them. It's because it would show you up and get hate piled onto yourself, right? It's all self-serving as everything else is. It's all down to Chris and Sarah, right? That is the, the long and short of it. So she goes on to say, also, there's no such thing as he should be here by now or there by now or whatever. And I completely agree to an extent. There is development goals at school, right? There is for a reason. Now, yes, some kids learn at different rates some kids learn at different stages and they shouldn't all be put in one box i think that's what you mean but what you're actually saying is that jace is here and he should be maybe two years down the line and he's a bit far behind right basically what i'm saying is yes there should be like leeway or not all kids are at the same stage as each other right they can't be however um there is sort of a region, a region that they should be in, right? Because otherwise they're going to be left behind in life. And there, there is a development 
a developmental rate that children usually go through. That's all I'm saying. Children learn at their own pace and no amount of forcing will help them do it quicker. It's so sad that as human beings, we label our children from the moment they're born should be rolling over by now or should be sitting unaided by six months. Most of them get there in the end and there's nothing to worry about. Some schools don't even start until age seven. So I assure you, Jace is right where he needs to be for his age. I... Which schools? I'm sorry. I'm going to put this to the floor, actually, because I personally have never, ever heard of a school that doesn't start until age seven, right? I feel like she's talking about schools overseas, some somewhere, right, overseas. It's got to be, because in this country, you wouldn't get away with um, keeping your kid off school until age seven, because it's school is mandatory from the age of five or something. <laughs> anyway, right, so... In terms of developmental stages, yes, obviously kids, babies, toddlers, they have milestones to reach and there's maybe a little bit too much pressure on kids to get to this stage or that stage and that's what you mean, right? But at the same time, if a child, for example, <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving you an extreme for example here, if a child who should be rolling over by six months or whatever right isn't rolling over until they're three years of age right i'm just saying you might want to get that checked out because that might be something else going on there but the same applies to your schooling yes kids learn to read at different rates for example right so you might say yeah they might they should be reading such and such by now but if you say, oh, well, it's okay, I'll get there eventually, but he, by the age of 10, for example, he still can't read, then that's an extreme example, but it's also very, you know, this is why they have developmental stages, so that you know roughly how well your child is getting on, right, roughly. It's not a, yeah, he's got to be doing this by this. He's got to be doing that by then. Otherwise, there's issues. No, but it does give you a guideline, right? A guideline. I think that's a, the key term, guideline. Anyway, this brings me on to my very next point, which um, has absolutely infuriated me to the nth degree. And I'm glad you've reached the end of this video because this is the main thing that I wanted to point out. And um, I didn't know whether to point it out in actual fact because it's quite a, it, it's it's not a nice thing to have to say, but I think Sarah and Chris really need to be told. They do. So Sarah and Chris, if you reach the end, well done, well done. That's right. You are in for a treat, right? If you haven't seen this already, this is brilliant. It's quite brilliant. So this is a hate fake account. I can't quite work it out, right? I think it's supposed to be a meme account, but it's quite confusing. They've taken over the username Ingham Family Official, and it looks an official account at first glance. But what they've done here is they've taken the whole thing surrounding um, Ayla and the Louis Capaldi thing that uh, she's been hated on on TikTok about and um, they put her side by side with Louis Capaldi and they have put the following. Can people stop saying my beautiful Isla looks like Louis Capaldi? They are both beautiful in their own ways but itty bitty Island looks very different to Louis Capaldi so on first glance that's like it sounds like somebody's trying to defend Isla there, but it's a very veiled meme that they've put together and it's very clever in terms of inciting hate. Now they've also put, stop this hate, I am so angry as a mum to be hearing this. Now the thing, the, the issue with this channel, right, they talk as if they are Sarah Ingham. That's the, the whole point of it. So that's what they come across as, right? But the whole thing is disgusting. It's poking fun at Isla and it is horrible, right? 
I don't think I even need to explain to you why this is horrible. It's disgusting and disgraceful and everything. But worse still, it had comment after comment in the comments about, uh, and it was taking the piss out of her, like, seriously. Comments such as this one from Lauren. Well done, well done, Lauren. Can you show a picture of Isla for reference? <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's literally two pictures of Lewis Capaldi. And people laughing. It's so and there was hundreds of these same comments, right? Over and over and over again. The same thing over and over again. There's so many people just taking the piss out of Isla. It was horrible. Isla's 11. Did you know that? She's only 11. And you're actually taking the piss out of her for what? I, I have no fucking clue, right? I thought it was absolutely disgraceful. It's disgusting. And I felt the need to, to mention that, right, in the comments. Not that anybody's going to take any notice of it, but I did. I put together a nicely crafted comment. I said, this is an absolute disgrace, channel owner and all the bullying of a child in the comments. Take the fucking video down, morons, right? So I, I was straight to the point pretty much. I thought I was pretty good. Comment got removed. That's right. It violated TikTok's community guidelines. That's right. Actually got removed. I'm guessing the words fucking and morons. They don't like that sort of behavior in the comments. It's, um, I know, I know, and I kind of get why, but, you know, that those times called for that sort of thing. Anyway, um, I did report the actual video for hate and bullying. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I thought, right, at least TikTok will take this down, won't they? Um, because, you know, it is clearly hate and it's clearly harassment, it's clearly bullying. They don't like that. They removed my comment, for one thing. So um, at least they'll, they'll remove this one, surely. No violations found. We've reviewed the video you reported and found that it doesn't violate our community guidelines. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> See what? See what we're up against when you your comment telling a a hate it, when your comment that is telling a a vid a video owner to take the video down that they're hating on a child right and that gets removed but the the video itself won't get removed from TikTok now the reason for that is probably because when you report on TikTok there's no option to to enter the reasons why it is a hate video or why it's bullying right there is nothing to say so TikTok have to make their own judgment calls but because the video there looks on the outset, it looks like it's a, a mother trying to protect her child from bullying. Um, they think, TikTok thinks that that's exactly what it is. But they don't look into it and think, hey, hang on a second. Yeah, this isn't actually what it appears to be. They, they just take it on face value and that's why they haven't removed it. I'm sure of that. But there's nobody else to contact to, to ask these things. That's the problem with these sort of companies there's nobody there that you can't contact anybody there's nobody anyway my point here is that the whole thing is this gruntle made okay it's disgusting right it is utterly di disgusting and yet chris and sarah still go on their merry way as if oh yeah nothing's wrong our kids they can be all over social media and it's all fine and dandy and you know we know that there's a problem somewhere but we just don't care enough to do anything about it remember the other day sarah when you went off on one about people talking about isabel and her eating habits and things like that i haven't seen you point this out i have not seen you point this out about isla and the problem is and dare i even mention it sarah the problem is that all this was started what from her sister her sister started this whole thing on her channel right that's right es esme did it 
Esme did it. I know. I I don't like to blame a child, but you know, it was Esme that did it. And yet, at the time, you did nothing about it. You didn't re remove the video. You didn't remove the comments that referenced um, Louis Capaldi and Ayla. You even left in a comment from Esme in a vlog which was calling Ayla Louis Capaldi. And then when Esme was called out about it, it was all, oh, it's just a joke. It's just sister banter. Well, what the fuck do you think that is? That whole video there has been viewed now by, I think it was about 380,000 people. That sister banter, is it? Is it? Is that what you think it is? No, that's fucking hate. That is hate on your child. Again, Sarah, sort the fucking thing out. Honestly, I've had it up to here. We're dealing with your shit time and time again, trying to sort it out. And it's not my responsibility. It's yours. Sort it out. I can't do it. I'm trying. I tried to get the thing removed for you. Have you even tried that yet? You know, it may not work, but at least give it a go. Contact TikTok. You have 1.3 million subs on YouTube. They'll listen to you. Tell them to take the fucking video down.